What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at Team of the Season Chesney. And I love his dynamic image. It's absolutely class. Obviously, the green shirt. I love how they've got around giving them dynamics with the white shirt, the goalkeepers with the green. It, it's it's interesting. It's new. It's different. I like it. It is a bit weird not seeing him in a Juventus kit. Same with, uh, obviously, CR7. But I, I applaud the creativity from them. They didn't have the license. They don't have the badge. But they'll still get their dynamic images out. In terms of goalkeeper then, we knew that Handanovic, we've had a look at him, and I did discuss something about like a battle of the keeper, something like that. It's something that I'm going to put into the works. I may do it as like a tester for all of the keepers' potential, potential in the team of the season or something along those lines. I don't know how I'm going to quite work it. I may do, because I think there's normally two keepers per team, is potentially pick a keeper um, from one side, pick another team from the other side, and then kind of go head to head. Maybe we go major versus major. It's just something that I'm interested in to do. Something to kind of not necessarily take away from the player review, but it just gives you that mi bit more of like a, an understanding on players. Who knows? We could definitely do it as, as something going forward in terms of attackers and stuff like that. Battle of the strikers or something. Pair Mbappe up with um, I don't know, like Ronaldo striker, or we go midfielders, we go De Bruyne versus Havertz or Royce, something along them lines. I don't know. We, we'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's something that I'm going to put into the works anyway. But anyway, on to the review, on to Chesney. Everything's 99, bar from obviously his kicking and speed. His speed is two lower than Handanovic, obviously one rating higher as well. He is the top rated Serie A keeper that you can, can get, and his price is absolutely on the floor. He's about 70 to 75k at the moment. Um, I have obviously picked him up at 76k this morning, um, knowing that I probably would lose a bit of money, but I thought I was going to get this review out a little bit earlier. Um, things came up, obviously, you've uh, you got to take a pinch with it, but at least it's not like a 500k player that's dropped 300k it's not like anybody does that but we move on let's go and have a look and see how he goes i'm interested to see what he's all about i'm i'm interested to know why they chose chesney and handanovic and disincluded donnarumma i don't know if he's going to be the sbc player it'd be the first goalkeeper we've seen but i feel like he's got to be in it somewhere because he's had a very very good season so it's interesting to see what happens but let's jump into the gameplay see what it's all about and we'll see how many saves and goals he concedes and saves. Right, jumping in. Check the, check the Twitch out as well. Oh, no, that's a good ball. Great save from Chesney. Out, big, gets his foot on it. That's what I want to see from the keeper. Big boy kick from Chesney. Let's see how far he can get it. Uh, to be fair, I think... Whoa, actually, that's a, that is a fantastic kick. Oh, no. Hey, Chesney going for it. Love it. Go with a throw. Oh, that's a lovely throw. Straight into uh, straight into Dybala. Can we get a bit of a run down with Traore? Uh, I suppose he has got some brilliant pace that Reggie on. Chesney. Beautiful. He's out. Out and ready. Chesney comes and collects. Not putting a foot wrong so far. Very, very cagey match in general, though. We're both... Very much the same sort of attacker. Oh, and Chesney's letting a near post. It's a banging goal from Socrates. It comes pretty much straight after we score, but it's a, it is a banging goal. Just realistically, Chesney needs to do better there. It's near post OP, so most keepers won't save that. Um, he went for the one shot. What can you do? Yeah, it's top, it's top bins. It's absolutely beautiful from Socrates. Don't get why he's using a loan in, in, uh, in rivals, but hey-ho. Chesney, doing really well. Really, really well. Five saves, 7.4. He let in one goal, which realistically, when you look at it, I think he was, I don't know, he was relatively even. But you look at the goal that he scored, realistically, it's one of them. It's, it's kind of that. I should have known that drag back. I've moved a player behind. He's got the finesse off straight off the bat, and it's literally hit the absolute uh, maximum kind of height just before, gets the drag back. And then we watch this here. It literally curls straight top bins. I don't think many keepers are going to be saving that. It's fantastic from Socrates. But moving to the next match, apart from that, he did really well. Uh, managing to come out quite a lot. I did find him coming out and making himself bigger. Very, very good for a keeper. Obviously, when they come out, you don't want them making mistakes. And he did really well in it. 
Chesney with a big, big save there. I knew uh, Insigne was going to try and cut in, but couldn't quite grasp where he was going. Chesney with a one hand. Absolutely sensational again from the lad. Chesney making two saves. Um, obviously, we didn't play the full match, but made it to the half time. And literally, that is all you need from it. He's managed to save the two shots were on target. We've managed to score all three of ours. And that's the game. And that's what a good keeper will have you doing. He's not a bad keeper uh, whatsoever. I think he's got the ability. Um, I think realistically he's up there. Um, definitely, would I say he's better than Handanovic? That's going to be the real key question. I think personally I preferred Chesney out of the two. Um, I do rate, I, like I always say, I do rate the speed. That's something that I always say in terms of goalkeepers. Speed means everything. I'm not too sure if there is a chem style that actually gets up the speed. Let's just have a quick look because I did this last time and I can't remember what we got the answer of. But for me, speed is absolutely everything and it does. So you can get shield. Let me just whack one of them on because realistically it doesn't matter. I very rarely use it. Uh, what did we get? We had a plus eight and a plus four. See, realistically, that's what I should be using for Allison because he's got everything pretty much up there. And the speed's already really, really nice. It would give him a plus eight. Whether that is the thing that you want to use, we will use a basic just to get him back down because we want to make him look like he's like he's fresh off the market. Um, but that's realistically what you want to be doing is looking at the speed. I think Chesney outweighs him and it's only a two difference in terms of the keepers in the Serie A. In terms comparison to Allison, I, I think I rate Allison as my top keeper. Some people disagree with me. Some people agree. Obviously, Allison's stat ranking compared to every one of his stats is amazing. Like, Chesney has the reflexes, which is a, a huge one. But realistically, on the basic, every diving, handling, reflex and positioning will always be 99 due to, I, I don't know why the plus stats are so high, but they always go to 99. It is literally the speed and potentially the kicking, if you're that fussed with that, that are going to be lower. That is the only thing that's going to be lower is the speed. So realistically, it all depends on what you think. I per I personally think Chesney is better than Handanovic in this scenario. Overall wise, I'm giving Chesney an 8.5. Realistically, I'd go for a 9, but I think there's going to be more keepers out there that I've not tried yet in terms of icons. Um, and obviously, we've got Lee Gun. I'm not too sure who's going to get it. But realistically, 8.5 to a 9 at a stretch. On a good day, if I played 10 to 15 more matches and still had that that kind of same response from him, I'd then give him a 9. Hopefully you enjoyed the video though. Like I said at the start, make sure you go and check out Twitch, jthomas11. Make sure you go give the follow and uh, join us in. We have a, a really good banter time. And then we also have a Discord if you want to go that. Comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and peace.